Girlies and gentle them gather round and shut the door. The Sussex squad and all you honorary members lurking in the corner, get in here. We gotta talk because London Bridge is falling down for real and I double dog dare Kensington Palace, Buckingham Palace, or even these derangers to deny it. Do y'all know what just happened? Camilla just announced she's taking months off of work and not coming back until nearly summer. What does this mean, I hear you ask? Well, let me tell you, it could mean a lot of things. It could mean that Charles is on his last legs and she's like, screw this, I gotta spend time with my man. Or there's this crazy theory going around that I'm starting to think makes sense. Y'all want me to spill the tea? Of course you do, that's why you're here. Okay, first let's go through what we actually know, then we'll drag clone Camilla because she gets no sympathy from me. And then we'll get into this wild theory that I'm convinced is true. So in terms of facts, the Times, you know, that right-wing magazine that loves the royals, they got this directly from the palace. They said the queen is gonna take a break from duties after leading the monarchy in public since Charles' cancer came out. They said even though Camilla has risen admirably to every occasion and drove 12 hours round trip to make a Charles event, she's earned a break. Let me just say, this new slimmed down monarchy of Charles looks more like a flattened down monarchy. What in the world is happening? We gotta talk about this mess. First of all, Charles' cancer may be way worse than they're letting on. I mean, Charles is ancient, although I did some research and with old folks' cancer actually spread slower because their cells don't replicate as fast. But pancreatic cancer is still really bad news whether it's fast or slow. But here's the thing. It seems like they just slapped a closed till summer sign on the whole royal family. Don't forget Sarah Ferguson has cancer too. Eddie and Sophie are on vacation, but Eddie already said he was taking time off before this. Sophie said she'd step up while Will and Kate are out, as if Kate would let anyone upstage her. So now Sophie and Eddie are gone. Princess Anne is the only one still working. Let's recap, Kate's missing, Will has bruises and a shiner. Definitely from a skiing accident, nothing else. His dad has cancer and his 80-year-old evil stepmom is picking up the slack. Well, looks like he just got off a ski holiday. You can see the goggle tan lines. And now Camilla says she's not going on vacation. She's just not working anymore. I don't think people understand how crazy this is. We need to seriously consider that Kate is very ill and I believe her mom is with her. She's definitely not at any of their public estates. She's at some undisclosed location, whether in hiding or being hidden, we'll get to that later. It was just pointless how they faked that whole hospital stay when she clearly wasn't there. They probably could have just hidden her and no one would have noticed. Kate takes off months at a time to raise the future king, which is a job in itself. She also wants to compete with Meg and get all the attention she can. I think whatever's going on with Kate is so bad they had to fake the hospital and surgery in case things went south. They couldn't have just said two months from now, oh, by the way, Kate's been deathly ill and we've been hiding it. What they've done is hide it, but pretend to leak things so we find out slowly over months until they finally admit Kate's incapacitated or worse. So that's what I reckon is happening. Now, as for Camilla taking over duties, I don't actually care why. Camilla is a horrible person and you can say pray for her, but uh, nope. This is above my pay grade now, it's in God's hands. If you care so much, go pray to God to save her. As for me, I won't question his timing or what he sees fit to happen to them. Can you imagine Camilla freaking out right now? Because if Charles does die soon like the Greek press said, what does that mean? She schemed and lied to get that queen consort title and now it's being taken away because Charles was the only reason she got it. Imagine plotting and scheming, doing anything to win the Game of Thrones, only for fate to rip it away. Camilla might be queen for a year or less, the shortest reign ever. After all that, it was for nothing. Talk about karma. Now to the theory everyone's talking about on Twitter that I gotta share to see what y'all think. It's a little out there, but hear me out. There's an emergency at the palace, I repeat. In e mem ergi in Sivai, something is off. Even Camilla isn't the last one standing. The only ones unaffected are those who weren't at Sandringham. Think about it. 
Every royal who was there is either sick, MIA, or losing their minds. Charles, sick. Kate, cuckoo bananas. William, battered. Edward, took off sick. Sophie, with him now. Virgie, cancer. The only ones left are Andrew and Anne. Where was Andrew that night? Did he slip something in the figgy pudding? The turkey? His hands looked awfully suspicious. I'm joking, but really, we don't know what happened. But if you believe the theory, would you think